The notification Vikings fans have been waiting to see on their phone for weeks, maybe even months, has finally arrived. Ed Donatel has been fired by the Minnesota Vikings. If you're excited about a new DC coming to Minneapolis, like today's video. We've got some breaking news to get to on Vikings now by Chat Sports. Kevin O'Connell, Quezzi Adolfo Mensa, and the Vikings have moved on from Ed Donatel, the DC, who robbed Vikings fans of popping champagne, celebrating some playoff wins, which you never like to celebrate anyone losing their job, but he's kind of the reason why the Vikings are not popping champagne on their way to an NFC championship, potentially, because this defense was definitely the rear ugly head that was holding this team back. They had some close games, and maybe if the defense wasn't so fraudulent, the team wouldn't have been so fraudulent at times. All right, we're bringing on Patrick Seatman, our, I mean, just the backbone of this channel, and he's pop, he's pumped up right now. He's popping champagne. Patrick, quick reaction right off the bat here. We're going to jump into some stats and some other, you know, yada, yada, yada stuff, but right off the bat, what are you thinking? I just had a big moment of just, relief i took yeah. a nice deep big breath because as the day kept going on i kept thinking no way are they evaluating him and considering bringing him back Petey, look at these numbers right here they speak for themselves this should be a team that's drafting in the top five of the nfl draft right 30th in points per game 31st in yards per game 30th in yards per play Hey, rush yards per game, they're only 21st in the league. And then pass yards per game, 31st. You're almost last in everything. And to add insult to injury, it's 30th in points per game, 25 and a half pretty much. And what was one of the worst scoring offenses in the NFL this year? Like, not a single team in the NFL averaged over 30 points per game. That's how down scoring was. And you still gave up over three touchdowns a game the moment you lined up pretty much. It's incredible. I mean, I really think if they had... Let's just say they were middle of the pack in all of these. Mm -hmm. We're probably still playing football right now. You're probably not letting Daniel Jones make 90 to 100 million. I mean, exactly. That's a fireable offense. If Daniel Jones gets a multi-year contract because of what he did to your defense, you're fired on the spot. Two games, Daniel Jones, over 300 yards. Jared Goff, two games, over 300 yards. Mike Jared. White, over 350. Yeah. Mac Jones threw for 380 on this defense. Yeah. It's just tough, Pete. That's tough. tough. So I think we can all guess what Patrick's one-word reaction is, right? It's probably something to the effect of vinegar strokes, right? Need to go change my pants a little bit. But what is your one-word reaction to the firing of Ed Donatel? Let me know in the comments section below. So the Vikings released a statement from Kevin O'Connell. I'll read it to you guys really quickly. Um, follow along here. Today, I informed Ed Donatel we will be going in a different direction at defensive coordinator in 2023. While this was a difficult decision because of the tremendous respect I have for Ed as a person and a coach, I believe it is the right move for the future of our football team. I want to thank Ed for his commitment to the Vikings this past season, for the positive impact he had on our players and coaches, and for his role in helping me as a first-year head coach lay this foundation. We all wish Ed and his wife Sherry, only the best in the future. We will immediately begin our search to fill this critical role as we continue to build a championship standard for the Minnesota Vikings. So, speaking of, you know, a search for a new DC, we've got some replacements and some new names to keep an eye on uh, as we begin, begin that part of this channel's destiny now, or channel's uh, path of finding a new DC. But first, a new sponsor I want to share with you guys, Magic Spoon. Today's edition of Vikings Now by Chat Sports is sponsored by my favorite cereal, Magic Spoon. Growing up, cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid, but I had to give it up because I realized it was full of sugar and junk and that you really shouldn't eat it. But Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. I start every day with a bowl of Magic Spoon. It tastes amazing and honestly, it's too good to be true. Magic Spoon tastes exactly like regular cereal from your childhood, but is super nutritious with 13 to 14 grams of protein and 0 grams of sugar. Magic Spoon comes in delicious flavors such as cocoa, fruity, and frosted, along with peanut butter, and it only has 140 calories per serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. 
I love Magic Spoon because it tastes great and it's good for you. I'm never going back to regular cereal. Start your new year off right with Magic Spoon. Use the QR code on screen or go to magicspoon.com slash chat and use my code chat for $5 off your own personalized Magic Spoon variety pack and stay on track for your New Year's resolution. That's magicspoon.com slash chat and or scan the QR code and use code chat. Now the link is in the comments and the description of today's video. Magic Spoon, by the way, is so confident in their product, it's guaranteed with 100% happiness. So if you don't like it for whatever reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Now like I said, that link is in the comments and the description of today's show. And now I also think after the firing, you're gonna have to look at a lot of these vets on this roster. Eric Kendricks, Harrison Smith, Zadarius Smith, Daniel Hunter, we'll touch on in a second, and Patrick Peterson. Especially those top three, you guys will actually see this video this weekend of cut candidates. I think the Vikings could be moving off all three of those guys, but especially Daniel Hunter. So Daniel Hunter this past year, the Vikings switched to a 3-4 defense. And he, he didn't struggle, but he didn't play up to his past performance. And he wasn't that 15 and a half sack guy a year. He was sitting around more 10 sacks. And it will be very curious if the next defensive coordinator, 4-3-3-4, I think that will determine what they do with Hunter. Because if they stick in the 3-4, I think they could be moving off him. Yeah, so Ed Donatel before Minnesota was in Denver. He was the Broncos DC. And his head coach was Vic Fangio. And that's kind of where the 3-4 defense starts from. And we'll talk about Vic Fangio when we get to replacements later on. But speaking of replacements, if you are excited to get a you know some new blood into Minnesota for this DC job. Well, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we're going to be getting you guys some Ed Donatel replacements videos, rumors, leaks. I mean, the head coaching search, the DC search, OC, all coordinator search always have a lot of buzz and sort of leaks that come with it. No one's going to keep you guys informed like we do here at the channel. So if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. When we get to replacements, Patrick, looking at this list of five here, who jumps out to you the most as maybe the number one guy? I think it's got to be who's number five on this list. Okay. I would go Brian Flores or Vic Fangio. Yeah. So I think those are the two that jump out. The thing with Vic Fangio is he's a great defensive mind. Mm -hmm. And I think he's been an awesome DC for Minnesota, really for any team. But if you didn't like the 3-4 defense, if you didn't like what you saw from Ed Donatel, don't expect different schemes with Vic Fangio. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. want a whole new look, Vic's not your guy. Because he's going to do what Ed Dantel did, just better. But he's going to have that 3-4 defense, which Daniel Hunter did not thrive in, right? Some players don't have a good switch from being a prototypical defensive end, three-point stance at the start of each play to dropping into coverage, right? Yeah. Being in that two-point stance at times, kind of hanging off on the edge there. Sean Desai is a sneaky name to keep an eye on. He got some looks. I know the Browns interviewed him for their DC opening. Uh, Mike Pettin in-house right now similar to ed donatel that's why i'm not yeah. too excited i will be curious to see what they do with mike Pettin because i think he could be fired here shortly i like jim leonard he was the wisconsin defensive coordinator before they fired paul chris and he became the interim head coach uh he, he hasn't gotten any real looks of the dc yet for from the nfl but there were some rumors of maybe him jumping up to the pros and then there's brian flores who He's getting a lot of attention right now. Of course, the former Miami Dolphins head coach, he went into Miami and Pete was about to come there and remove the Dolphins logo because of the tragedy that was going on. And that defense was rocking and rolling under him. Boy. Now he's been the, uh, the linebackers coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he's gotten interviews from Cleveland, from Atlanta, and from a couple other spots as well. And Pete, I will say the one thing with the 3-4 defense, it bothers me more than anything in sports is when you see your star pass rusher having the drop in the coverage yeah. and try to man up a running back. Right. It drives me nuts. It doesn't really benefit. I shouldn't say that because TJ Watt plays in pretty much a 3-4. He still gets you know boatloads of sacks and whatnot. And I think back to Vic Fangio with the Bears. Khalil Mack had plenty. But it's not necessarily a scheme that's designed to isolate pass rushers. Mm -hmm. It is supposed to play in front of you, bend, don't break, sort of. But also have some turnovers generated as well. 
Now, if you are looking for the latest Vikings offseason news and rumors and you're stumbling across this channel for the first time or you've watched some other content of ours, make sure to subscribe because no one is going to keep you guys in the know like Patrick Seatman is here at Chat Sports. He is always working his tail off, coming in early, staying late to make sure that Vikings fans across the world are getting the best Vikings YouTube content out there. So hit that big red button. Not just if you love Vikings news and rumors and YouTube content, but if you're happy that Ed Donatel is not the Vikings DC anymore.